Well, today we're going to sow some um, pepper seeds, chili peppers to be uh, exact. You can actually grow um, sweet peppers or chili peppers in exactly the same way. Um, it's the month of February, so it's a good time to start them because they need a long growing season. Um, but of course, you can sow them up sort of up until about March time. Once you get past March, you just start to get a little bit late. Um, they need really warm temperatures to get them going. So you've got to start them off into pots first and, and put them into heat to get them to germinate and, and to grow on. So I'm going to start them off in just small pots. You actually only need small pots or little cell trays to start them off in. So I've just got a little pot here. I'm just taking some multi-purpose compost and just fill the pot like so. Just tap. Don't need to firm it down at this stage. And if you've got a little tampo, it's one of just a little piece of wood. I mean, you can use your hand, but I've got one of these. So just push it down gently, not too firm, not too hard, just to get a nice level surface. And I've got some uh, chili, chili pepper seeds here, KN variety. And they're quite big seeds, so it makes it very easy to sow them. You just simply place them where you want them to to grow and you give in a pot this size sort of a nine centimeter three and a half inch pot you could probably put ten seeds eight or ten or twelve seeds it's basically as long as there's a little bit of gap between them and it's a case of getting so a little sieve here you don't have to use a sieve but if you've got one it's great just to cover the seeds. Just gets rid of all the big lumps. And I can actually sometimes just tamp it down a little. Now you can actually put the pot um, into a little tray of water. I mean this, this tray's got holes in but if you had a tray without holes in just fill that with water Put the pot into the tray and let the water soak up through. It evenly soaks the compost. It's the best way of actually getting the, the, the compost um, moist. Um, alternatively, you could uh, just use a spray. But once it's all wet through, nice and damp, you want to label it and then you put the pot into a propagator. The lid back on and you've got little ventilators in the top but you don't actually have to have those open initially. You can just shut those up and they should emerge in sort of about 14 days. As soon as you start to see the seedlings popping out you want to take them straight out of the propagator because if you leave them in there too long they'll get very elongated. Um, and then you put them onto a warm windowsill. Um, at this time of year, most greenhouses, people haven't got heaters in them, so you really need to grow them on in, um, on a windowsill in a warm house. Um, it's when you, they get big enough, you can then transplant them, actually prick them out and put them into individual little pots, similar sized pots, one plant into a pot this size. Again, grow on in the windowsill if it's still, well, it's still warm. Once you get sort of April, May time, they can actually start going out into a, into a cold greenhouse and then potted on into larger pots and then grown on to fruit.